Hi everyone, I'm Donna Brousseau. If you're like me, sometimes you get home from work and all you're really craving is a big old plate of comfort food. Unfortunately, comfort food is notoriously high in fat and calories. Today, I'm going to show you how to take my favorite meal, hopefully yours, uh, fried chicken, mashed potatoes and collard greens, take away the fat and the calories, pump it full of nutrition and flavor, and take away the guilt. We're going to start with some chicken breasts, low fat, high protein. I'm going to actually put them in a mixture of flour and cayenne pepper. Adding the cayenne pepper because I want a little heat because the secret to making low fat food taste great is to add spices and herbs and other kind of elements of flavor instead of sugar and salt. We're going to take that chicken breast, dip it into a mixture of low fat buttermilk, high in calcium and protein, and then for our crunch, I'm rolling it in a mixture of almonds, also high in protein and potassium, and panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs are an Asian breadcrumb that's really delicate. You can find them in most grocery stores, but if you can find them, just use any old breadcrumbs. Okay? I'm going to place it on my sheet pan, pop it into an oven at 375 for about 18 to 20 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to start on our mashed potatoes. Now, mashed potatoes are my favorite, but what I'm doing with these mashed potatoes, I'm taking away half the potatoes and I'm going to put cauliflower in instead. So cauliflower is really high in vitamin C and dietary fiber. So I'm going to put them into a pot of boiling water, add in our potatoes. I'm keeping the skin on because I want to add more dietary fiber than usual. Potatoes are high in potassium. So I'm going to let that boil away till fork tender. So while that's cooking, I'm going to work on some collard greens. Now collard greens are notoriously bad for you because they're usually cooked in lard or bacon fat. I guess that's why we call it, probably like them. Heat up my saute pan. I'm going to put in some avocado oil, which is filled with good fats and has a higher smoke point than olive oil. Sometimes I play around with different oils because it also adds a different element of flavors to my dishes. After that, I'm going to add some Chicken broth. Now I've made my own chicken broth because I don't buy canned chicken broth because it can be really high in sodium. But if you buy canned chicken broth, make sure you buy the low sodium type or you can make your own by putting your bones from your chicken, rotisserie chicken, who doesn't buy them. Add in some celery, some onions, some carrots, some peppercorn. Let it boil for about an hour. Strain it off and you have about two liters of really low sodium chicken stock. I'm then going to add some maple syrup in, which most people don't realize is high in calcium high in iron. Put that in there, let it all heat up. I'm going to take my collard greens, which are favorite of the ancient Romans and Greeks, not just down south, and I'm going to put them into my pan. Now collard greens are really high in vitamin A. So in the middle of winter when we're missing that sun, stock up on your collard greens. I'm going to let that saute, mingle the flavors together, add a little garlic clove, Put that in, and I'm actually going to add some lemon juice. Now, most people say, well, how do you make low-fat food taste great? My secret is I use anything with acid. So lemon, lime, oranges, white wine, vinegar, brings out the flavor in low-fat foods. So before I reach for the salt shaker, I always add a hit of lemon juice or lime juice. We're going to let that saute. While it's doing it, I'm going to go over and see how my chicken's doing. Ah looking great. So we've got our crunch here and this is based on the almonds and the panko instead of deep frying it. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to finish off my potatoes. Due to the magic of television, our potatoes are fork tender. I'm going to put them over to the side and there we have it. We've got a bowl full of cauliflower and potatoes. I'm just going to mash it up with a little cumin, a little coriander, and some low-fat yogurt. I'm adding the low-fat yogurt because it's going to give it a nice tangy bite and bring another element of flavor in. So as you guys can see, it's about spices, fresh herbs, and lemon juice or acid that brings out the flavor in low-fat food. So we've got our cauliflower mashed potatoes, our collard greens, and all I'm going to do is plate it up for us. So I'm going to take a nice crispy piece of chicken breast a big scoop of our potatoes and cauliflower. Whoops. And then we're going to take a nice scoop of our collard greens on the side. So what we've got here is we've got a big old plate of comfort food minus the fat and calories, plump full of nutrition, flavor, and we don't have any guilt. 
So enjoy the day and remember guys, it's not about what we can't do, it's about what we can.